Caesar, thanks so much for speaking with me. And I got to ask you right off the top, my friend, how are you doing throughout this uh, pandemic? Where are you living right now and how are things in your area? Well, first of all, thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Um, so I'm from Ottawa, Ontario. Uh, that's where I live. And uh, yeah, it's been difficult for the past couple months. I mean, um, you know, I've never seen anything like this. It's like, it still feels like a movie almost. It's like something you'd see on Netflix or on the big screen. I never thought this would be reality. But uh, yeah, it's been difficult. But I mean, you know, following all the guidelines with, uh, you know, social distancing, um, you know, wearing a mask. Uh, once the appropriate, you know, uh, stage of reopening has been uh, approved, I follow those rules, um, you know, just taking the time to work on myself as a person, as an artist, uh, keep working on my craft and, uh, you know, keep moving forward. Is it changing the way you write music? I mean, let's face it, our brains were set in one way several months ago, but now I think everybody is thinking in a different way. Has it affected the way you're writing songs now? Uh, me personally, no, but I can totally see how it could do that. Um, for me, it's like the music is just, you know, one avenue and I'm able to, you know, focus on that one avenue, that one passion, um, you know, and keep moving forward in that direction and not let, you know, anything else kind of um, uh, throw it off, so to speak. No, I hear you there. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I've asked a lot of people the same question, too, and I want to get your perspective, um, your thoughts on uh, the world dealing with COVID-19, the pandemic, uh, also racism being in the forefront and discussed in such a different manner that we've never had before. Uh, the things that we see on social media, good and the bad. And, um, and also, you know, people debating and fighting about you know, wearing a mask, not wearing a mask. I mean, what do you think about all of this happening? And, you know, has it affected you in any way? Yeah, I mean, those are great questions. So with regards to the racism, I mean, it's it's disgusting what's happening. And I think now specifically is a time where being silent is part of the problem. You know, so now is the time where you need to educate yourself and I think that's one of the first steps, you know, into understanding the situation if you don't really understand it. So, you know, myself, I can't speak for others, but for myself, I've been, you know, asking questions, trying to educate myself on everything and just keep learning and, uh, you know, use the new knowledge I have to uh, use my voice and stand against racism moving forward and just continue to learn about it and uh, keep moving forward in a positive direction and share that with others. In terms of COVID, um, I'm in Canada, so I I don't really know what's going on in the other parts of the world. From what I see, it's just on the news. Uh, but in terms of Canada, I feel like they've been doing a good job in you know keeping the the cases down, uh, reopening uh, when it's appropriate, when numbers are declining. So uh, much respect to Canada. I'm very happy to be here. I think Canada has been doing a good job. Um, in terms of like, you know, wearing masks and all that stuff, I mean, here's how I look at it. Even if there's like a 0.1 chance of it helping stop the spread, that's worth it in my opinion. So it is what it is, guys. Just buckle down, wear your mask, move forward. You know, this is not going to be for decades, at least I hope not. So just buckle down. Let's put in the work now so we can stop that spread. And, you know, in due time, go back to the way things were. But if you guys are going to complain about masks and this and that, blah, 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 it's just going to delay going back to normal. So come on, let's all come together. Let's, you know, follow the rules. And before you know it, we'll be able to look back at this and say, hey, like, imagine that crazy time. What can we learn from that? Let's move forward. Amen to everything yeah. you just said. Absolutely. Thank you. With everything you just said, too, my friend. Um you know, and, and it's the sad part is, too, this, for Toronto, it's been a great summer, like weather-wise. Um, and we can't go out there and do what we want to do. We can't see performances like yourself. You must be missing performing live. Oh, absolutely. I mean, myself, I've never performed live, but with the release of this EP, um, I can't, you know, book any shows or I have to, you know, decline 
some of these events because, you know, we can't get out there. We can't have those mass gatherings. So it is difficult for me. But again, it's like I try and look at it in a way where, okay, I can't go out there. But what I can do is I can work on my performance. I can work on myself as an artist, as a person, so that when things do go back to uh, being able to have these concerts and live performances, I'll be even more ready and prepared uh, for that green light. And I mean, that's just how I look at it, um, you know, but that's just me. The green light begins with this new EP, and congratulations on that, too. Um, I wanted to talk about the new music, but I want to talk about the career and the love of hip-hop. Where did that begin for you? Yeah, so great question. Um, so for me, my career pretty much started in 2018. Um, I heard a song from Post Malone, uh, White Iverson. I don't know if you're familiar with it. Yes. Yes. So I heard that song and just for some reason it hit me and I was like, wow, like this just made me feel in some type of way, but in a good way. And then it hit me like, wow, if someone's music can impact me this much in a good way, I want to be able to do that for as many people out there. So starting in 2018, as soon as I caught that vibe, I started, you know, making some phone calls, learning music, getting some beats made. Um, and that's pretty much how I got started. So, yeah, like two years ago. Okay, now that, that that's interesting because I usually will keep talking about more about the career, but now you almost made me want to jump in for the new EP. Is that why it's called Hustle and Passion? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> There's, uh, of course, anything you do in life, you have to have passion. So that's a must. I had to throw that in there. Music is a passion for me, so that's a must. Now, the hustle part. So, uh, like I said, back in 2018, I started getting some beats made. And it was only until about 2019, early in the year, that I got in the studio to start recording my songs. And let me tell you, <laughs> when I first got in there, I quickly noticed that uh, my skills were not there. Um, so I really need to work on my vocal training and, you know, learning how to sing. So uh, it was that week, that same week I was in the studio. On that Saturday, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I was already uh, taking my first vocal lesson. So pretty much for all of 2019 up until this year, I've been doing vocal training for minimum three times a week. For some periods of time, about five times a week. Uh, because I really wanted to get my skills up there. And again, it's like when you have a passion for something, you constantly want to learn, you constantly want to get better. So by doing so, uh, later in the year, so late 2019, I was fortunate enough that I got back in the studio and I could actually get some good recordings in. <laughs> like it actually sounded good. <laughs> so the, uh, the hustle uh, paid off. So that's where kind of like, the hustle and the passion come into play for this first EP. As you were doing all of this, I'm I'm going to assume that you were writing songs. What songs, what kind of songs were you writing? What was your headspace in and how you wanted to represent yourself? Because this, in a lot of ways, is the first time it's an introduction of you to us. Right. Great question. So for me, because I'm still, well, I, when I first started working on this project, I was brand new to this. So in terms of the writing, and bringing concepts of songs to life. The approach I took was kind of like an entrepreneurial approach because that's what I was doing before this in a sense where, you know, like in a business, you have, you know, let's say the marketing team, the HR, and for each position in your company, you want to bring on the best people on board. So that's kind of like what I did with my career from the beginning. Uh, in terms of the writing, I would, you know, reach out and try and bring you know, the best people on board to the point where it's kind of like, okay, guys, like, this is the concept. This is the idea I have in my head. I got some lines. I got some words. How can we go about putting uh, this on paper, this on a record that speaks volumes to people that they're going to understand? So I kind of take an approach where I do my best to bring the best people on board. And together as a team, we create something, you know, um, that speaks volumes, that's proper, that's professional, that we can present to people. Um, and that's kind of like the approach I've been taking uh, with the writing and the concepts uh, for this first EP. Okay, so what's the new single and what's it about, sir? 
So for the next one, we have All Me coming up. This was just like a fun record, kind of like a Latin type vibe to it. Um, I really just wanted something fun. Um, and again, for like lyrics wise, the writing, I didn't want to try and make it too, too specific to a situation. I really wanted it to be something where people can listen to it and kind of interpret their own, uh, um, how should I put it, like environment for their song, their own situation. They can put themselves in an environment when they hear the song. Um, so that was the goal for this one. And I'm really excited about it. And I can't wait. Are there other singles out? Just curious. Yeah. So the first one was uh, Day to Day, which I shot a music video for. Uh, the second one was About You. The third one was Drunk Texting. And now we got All Me releasing. So four have been released so far. Um, and now the uh, the EP is dropping uh, very soon, which is the entire project. Now I got to ask you what Day to Day is about. So day to day was kind of like, here I am starting from the ground up. I'm on my way to fame. Uh, I'm trying to work hard. Um, I have a goal. I'm going to get there. So again, it's like when the writing came into play, I didn't want to make it too specific on like music or one specific situation. It could be anything. So let's say if you are, you know, uh, you want to make it in basketball or you want to make it in hockey, it's like, you hear the song, it kind of speaks to your situation. You want to make it in basketball, you're on your way to fame. You want to make it to the NBA, you want to make it to the top, you want to work hard. Um, so that was kind of like the, the, the message for day to day. about you what's that one about sir about you again that one was just like kind of like a fun record um it has like a nice kind of like dance latin vibe to it again okay. it, was, it was one of those records that it was just let's have some fun um it was something new i wanted to try um you know being a new artist i wanted to try different genres see how i feel as an artist and most importantly i wanted to get feedback from fans and other people on what they think of my music. So again, one of those records where I didn't try and make it too much about one specific situation. If you hear it, you can kind of apply it to your own life, have some fun with it. I wanted it to be something where, you know, you can listen to that record in the car, in the gym, um, out and about, it's just it's very versatile. Okay, my friend. Uh, April 4th, uh, I should say August 14th is as we speak the release date of the new EP. Yes, it is. Correct. Okay, so we've got that. But virtual uh, performances, uh, are we going to get any from you? I honestly would love to. Um, that's definitely something I'm looking at. Um, as we speak, I am, uh, you know, training for that, working on my live performances. Um, that's definitely, you know, one big aspect as a musician. You know, it's the live performances, not just being in a studio recording. There's different aspects to it. So, Definitely, for sure, if uh, I know those opportunities come up, I'm definitely going to go for it. Fantastic. Looking forward to that. In the meantime, social media is the place to go. Where do we go to follow you, sir? So first place is definitely Instagram. <laughs> I'm the most active on there. Uh, I do have, uh, you know, Twitter and Facebook and all that. Uh, I do need to work on, you know, kind of posting everywhere, but for <laughs> sure, for sure. <laughs> uh, for sure, Instagram, at Caesar Music. I'm the most active there where I can talk to people, get to know fans, and let people get to know me. So for sure, Instagram, number one place. Caesar, thank you so much for speaking with me, and congratulations on the career. Uh, the, the title of your EP is so inspiring, and I hope others can follow that too during this tough, tough time. And I'm looking forward to talking again, my friend. I'm looking forward to us talking in person, and I'm looking forward to being in the audience and being able to hear you and see you perform live. Thank you again for the interview. Awesome. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure talking with you, and I can't wait to talk to you again. Thank you so much. You take care, my friend. Be safe. You take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.